But about a year ago, things worsened to the point that I had a realisation that I may never get better. And the idea of the idea of another 30 years of constant suffering with no improvement, it just started to really make sense that perhaps it would be best for everyone if I wasn't here. A lot of people don't realise that with living with chronic pain, fibromyalgia, there are a lot of people who have committed suicide. A lot of people have killed themselves. So you're living this constant life of pain and not being able to do the things you want to do and you can't achieve the things you want to achieve and I'm sorry but I feel like a complete failure in my life because everything every dream that I have had I haven't been able to come through with how would you feel if your entire life vanished before your eyes and the only thing you could see in the future was a big scary void. Imagine if this was your life and when you talk to the doctors about it all they could say is they have no idea what's happening and that you should just get some rest. You'd probably be a little pissed off and more than a little bit terrified. That's my life. the medical profession that's stolen my life because they haven't done anything for me. Personally I think that the medical profession is a joke. A singular approach which utilizes uh, elements of uh, physical manipulation, uh, pain medication, or a psychological uh, approaches to treatment of pain. Uh, this leaves out, I think, uh, one important element that we've found in the, in the whole uh, pain problem, and that's the role of chronic infections. And when chronic infections are present, even controlling these other three parameters does not seem to be as effective as treatment of the infection in terms of resolving long-term chronic pain. Uh, chronic infections are well known in um, pain conditions, chronic pain in general. If you take a condition like fibromyalgia, the most common infections that are related to the pain are intracellular bacterial infections or, or certain viral infections. Uh, we've commonly found bacteria like mycoplasma or chlamydia or borrelia uh, are often associated with conditions of chronic pain. Chlamydia pneumonia is probably the only chlamydia associated with widespread systemic we have done pain. research in chronic fatigue syndrome and in fact on practically all the fatiguing illnesses. And if these uh, intracellular bacteria are not treated or left untreated, 
the pain continues indefinitely. So, so I've been very sick for a long time, over a decade. Because I've been feeling guilt for being unwell for 13 years. And I feel like a failure in my life. To go, I've lost my job. I've lost mm, pretty much all my friends. It's pretty hard to find any happiness on a day-to-day -day basis, really, so... Uh, there's not really a lot more that I could lose. <laughs> this is actually a black hole in terms of medical training, and I think the physician community as a whole. Uh, not too many people understand the role that chronic infections play in a variety of disease processes.